Hello everyone, I am Nazarat Fatima and you are watching Live Law. How a child witnesses dealt in cases is a question that has been answered by the Supreme Court in a series of cases. In the present case, the Supreme Court has observed that it is of great importance to ascertain that a child witness is reliable and the minor has an understanding of truth and is able to use rationality to answer the questions posed at him by the court. In a case where the accused was convicted by the Sessions Court for offences under Section 302 read with Section 34 of the IPC and Sections 449 and 324 read with Section 34 of IPC, the Supreme Court observed that the trial courts have to make proper preliminary examination of minor witnesses before recording their evidence to confirm whether the minor is capable of understanding the questions posed at him and is able to give rational answers. Let's briefly go into the details of the case. After the order of conviction from the Sessions Court, the Punjab and Haryana High Court upheld the conviction on the basis of the testimony of a minor witness. The accused filed an appeal before the Apex Court and contended that the testimony of the minor witness cannot be relied upon for evidence as there are major contradictions and improvements in the testimony. The bench comprising Justices Abey Oak and Rajesh Bindal observed that as per the requirement of Section 118 of the Evidence Act, it is the duty of the trial judge to record his opinion that the child is able to understand the questions put to him and that he is able to give rational answers to the questions put to him. The court said that the trial judge must also record his opinion that the child witness understands the duty of speaking the truth and state why he thinks that the child understands the duty of speaking the truth. The court said and I quote, Before recording evidence of a minor, it is the duty of a judicial officer to ask preliminary questions to him with a view to ascertain whether the minor can understand the questions put to him and is in a position to give rational answers. The judge must be satisfied that the minor is able to understand the questions and respond to them and understands the importance of speaking the truth. Therefore, the role of the judge who records the evidence is very crucial. He has to make a proper preliminary examination of the minor by putting appropriate questions to ascertain whether the minor is capable of understanding the questions put to him and is able to give rational answers. It is advisable to record the preliminary questions and answers so that the appellate court can go into the correctness of the opinion of the trial court. The court also clarified that corroboration of the testimony of a child witness is not a rule, but a measure of caution and prudence. It said, and I quote, a child witness of tender age is easily susceptible to tutoring. However, that by itself is no ground to reject the evidence of a child witness. The court must make careful scrutiny of the evidence of a child witness. The court must apply its mind to the question whether there is a possibility of a child witness being tutored. Therefore, scrutiny of the evidence of a child witness is required to be made by the court with care and caution. Coming back to what the court observed while referring to evidence on record. The bench observed that it is quite possible for the minor witness to be tutored and such a possibility cannot be ruled out. It said that there is no support or corroboration to the testimony of the child witness and it will not be safe to base the conviction only on this testimony which does not inspire confidence. As such, the court allowed the appeal. That's all about it for today. We hope you like our videos. If you do, please like and share. Also, subscribe to our channel on YouTube and don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Thank you for watching.